Into for a little help on this, let's bring back the Money Men, business and markets analyst and Newsmax contributor, Seth Denson, and America's accountant, accountant professor of Montclair State University, Dan Geltrude. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Dan is in studio, but we did, I think we, we mentioned in the other hour that we're going to go see Seth in Texas because it's warmer there. Uh, yes, it is. I don't mind doing that <laughs> all for it. at all. All yeah, for it. Tom is all for it, too. <laughs> and better for tax purposes if we could stay a while. All right, right. <laughs> What's that? I missed that. I said we'll treat you guys some Texas barbecue while you're down oh, here, too. That's my yeah, trip. Yeah. Right. And we'll bring yeah. them some pizza. How about that? That's right. That's, I think that's a fair corn, trade. Which is in our and green candy room. corn, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to get to the markets? <laughs> All right. Uh, so the market closed this week. Uh, mixed stocks continue to struggle uh, on fr continue to struggle on Friday after Austria's COVID lockdown. But tech shares uh, posted a winning week with the Dow, uh, unfortunately though dropping 268. Nasdaq added 63, while the S&P 500 took a slight dip. Dan, should we expect the markets to? To continue to react to what's happening, not just in Austria, but in Europe, because we could see some of that, some of those those lockdowns uh, actually spread in other countries. Yeah, there's no doubt. If there's going to be more lockdowns in Europe or in other places around the world, or how about in the United States, there's no question about the market is going to react to that. I really hope we don't go down that road again. Don't say yeah. lockdown in the U.S. No, no, no. Right. <laughs> don't well, say that. I agree. Uh, yeah, it, was, right. it worked so well the last time. Yeah. Uh, Seth, um, there's an employee who had alleges rampant sexual har harassment and nightmarish conditions in a Fremont, California factory lawsuit. This is with Tesla and other women are stepping forward. How bad is this for, for this company? Well, you know, it's too early to tell. The story broke yesterday morning, and the stock was up 3% yesterday. And for the week, it gained back all the losses from the previous week. Tesla has over 70,000 employees. So if this is an isolated incident, I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Now, if this becomes a bigger issue and we get into class action suits, well, now we've got a bigger story to tell. Uh, and certainly that could have an impact on Tesla's profits going forward. Mm -hmm. Well, they're still getting most of their lithium, I think, from China. So I think that's actually an even bigger story. Mm. Um, you know, I, I got to talk to you about this because I know Seth is a Longhorns fan. All right. Yeah. Keep um, him out of this. <laughs> Kansas walk on Jared Casey has, has landed an image and likeness deal with Applebee's following his uh, game winning two point conversion play versus Texas. Uh, Casey has received $800 cash and $1,000 in Applebee's gift cards. As part of the <laughs> deal, uh, he's also planning on working with Lewis. Automotive Group, which has dealerships across Kansas. You know, there's a lot of controversy over players being able to uh, to do this. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on it? I'm for it, Tom, and here's why. These players have been missing out for so long on their talents and other people making money yeah. from that. So their name, their image, their likeness, they should be able to get paid for those things. That doesn't interfere with them being hmm. student athletes. So I'm for it, I like it, and I also like what happened in Texas. Sorry, Seth. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Seth, are you familiar Such with Justin Bieber? Is, is he on your run? Is he on your playlist? Do you run to Justin oh, Bieber? Seth's, Seth's a big Bieber. Baby, baby. Ba oh, I'm not going to even say Bieber. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got some swag. So he's actually touring. I did look this up in 2022. He's, he's, so you could get to get your tickets. But so he's teaming up with Tim Hortons, a Toronto based chain partnering with the pop star for a merchandise collection due out at the end of this month. You got beanies, fanny packs, tote bags. Smart business move or? Or is this just a mess? Well, no, listen, I, smart business move, I guess. Listen, I got Bieber fever. Maybe Tim Hortons has Bieber fever. Uh, their, their stock is down actually about 15% over the last six months. So maybe they need some profit fever, and they think that this just might get them there. Yeah, because he is Canadian, so Canadian company. But I, I don't know. I mean, the fanny packs sound like, you know, something you can take on a vacation. Hey, as a father of three, the fanny pack is a must. It, it comes in handy. Like, like uh, I'm the a father car, of three. You're like not the putting cargo one of those shorts? on me. I'm well, you sorry. The cargo I don't, shorts. You know, uh, the cargo shorts I can do. With. The, the, the fanny pack thing is, is a is a no no. All right, so final uh, final thing for you, Dan. Uh, those retro toys hiding in the attic. We we all have them. Maybe worth money. Uh, people that held on to their favorite toys may that be, they be maybe more valuable than we even mm -hmm. thought. Mm -hmm. A 1995 talking Buzz Lightyear figure selling for around 150 bucks. Polly Pocket toys from the uh, oh, the yeah. 80s and 90s. Remember those yep, selling them. for hundreds of dollars. The the Lego set Royal Knights Castle from 19. 1995 could bring you three grand if it's in the box. Ghostbusters, Firehouse, and figurines from the 84 film 
can be over a thousand dollars. Um, you've got any of this stuff hanging well, around? Hey, hidden treasures. My kids have some of that stuff, the Buzz Lightyear toy. But how about this? When you go into the attic and you find something like those old baseball cards. Oh, now, yeah. that's what you're talking about with me. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, my mom never threw them out. So I think I got Ooh, some hidden wow. treasures there. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take you gotta, a look. You got to go through all that stuff. <laughs> what about you, Seth? No, listen, I played with my toys. I feel bad for these kids. I had to leave them in the box. I got a 1987 uh, Andre Dawson starting lineup sports figurine. The memories I made playing with my brothers with that, priceless. Love no, it. absolutely not. Play with your toys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Seth and uh, Seth Danson and Dan Gilchard. We appreciate you both.